They were 14 and 4. They'd won 14 of 18 at that point. And then uh, they've won one and three since. So, yeah, go ahead. No, uh, you had just mentioned it. I, I mean this, Donnie. The effort was there. Definitely. And I know they're pro athletes, but this is a bigger question because I heard just allude to it about Dallas. I've watched Dallas. They're up and down. Their defense is not the best. Where you, Do you think they kind of know Draymond, know Curry, were walking through the motions? Or would you say a healthy Warrior team, if they hook up with Dallas in the playoffs, bring it on? Because that's where I'm at with Dallas, even though they got Luke and Kyrie. Okay. But did, were you impressed with Dallas last night, or do you feel like they were kind of just walking through the most? Not Walk, really. Yeah. Not really, but uh, I'm they sure won they, the game. They, they never were in trouble in that game. They went into the fourth quarter up six, got down to four, and they bumped it right up to two. I mean, the game wasn't close in the fourth quarter. The other thing is we, we're, we're finding out more and more about Andrew Wiggins. And where he is at on this team. You realize, don't you, that the Warriors were down four early in the third, early in the fourth quarter. And by the 646 mark, Dallas was up 18. Dallas took an 18 point lead with under seven minutes to go. Then he put Wiggins in. Yeah, 28 minutes for Wiggins. I mean, Wiggins is kind of. I don't, I, I don't. Got to the free throw line six times, Tony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in garbage time. He had seven of those points in garbage Yay! time. Yay! He put, he put Wiggins back into the game when they were down 18. Wiggins had seven quick. And the, how many, Sorry. Again, how many alley-oops did the Mavericks have? And that's just something the Warriors don't have if it's not Kaminga to throw the ball down low and just get an easy basket or a move that you talk about. Everything has to be a three or... Like you said, they lack guys that could create for others, man. That's glaring. 888-957-9570 is the number. Every game, it seems like, with the Golden State Warriors is is temperature-taking time. They're 10th right now in the West, a game behind the Lakers. They play the Lakers Saturday. Prime time. I mean, they're three games over. They're three games over. I I mean, I'm looking at that game last night, and to me, the, the the biggest obstacle for this team reaching whatever goals they have, whether you think it's a title or whether you think it's making the playoffs through the play-in, mm-hmm. it's, the, the young guys are not the ones who are going to hold them back from that goal. It's going to be the big boys. And Wiggins is included in that. I guess. And that's already a negative. I guess. Uh, 888-957-9570 is the number. Uh, Matt's on the bridge. What's up, Matt? How you doing, man? Hey, fellas. Hey. How you doing? All right. Doing well. Excellent. Traffic here. Um, yeah. Dallas. Ah, Matt, you got to call back. Yeah, got a bad connection. Yeah. You got a bad connection. So. God. I mean. Like, I got nothing for you fans right now about. Stiney, they're going to go on a run. I thought that's what we were seeing. And maybe, you know what, the the rest of the season they'll get hot again and I'll feel it. But right now I'm I'm as low as a Mike Tyson opponent on the, on the mat, man. I just am. And it all started after the Milwaukee win when I was really starting to feel like, okay. And the guys this morning did a great job on Curry's birthday, Stiney, just talking about if you're a Warrior fan sure. this last decade. Oh my gosh! If they don't win another one, no, who can? There's not a person living that that is not fed. But I live and die and ride just on the on the the now, the meantime, mm-hmm. and I just, you know, I just, I, Stiney, you know, I'm worried, man. You know, maybe could this be a silver lining? What what I'm gonna what I'm gonna suggest here? So, I'm not a big fan of anything and everything for Steph. No matter what. Anything and everything for Steph. No matter if we got a mortgage. Okay. I'm not a big fan of that. But if I yeah. meet you halfway there and say, you know what? Let's let's make that number one priority. Okay. Who tells Steph that the best thing for the franchise, short term and long term, is to get off Clay, it's to get off Wiggins, and it's to get off Chris Paul. Mm. That's the best thing for Steph Curry, maybe. It's possible. It's possible that could be then can can you turn those three guys into a 30-year-old who's like your third or fourth option? Mm. 
Then Kaminga becomes the number two next year. Yeah. That may be the fastest way back to to improving on the tenth seed. I, I mean, I, I I don't know what I, I the idea of of kind of resigning Clay and and not being able to get rid ri- of not getting it not being able to trade Wiggins. I don't know. It sounds like you saying running it back would not be the best thing. I feel like we've run it back for two years, mm. to tell you the truth. We ran it back after they won the title, and that year tur- the regular season turned into a disaster. And depending on how you want to look at it, you could say, well, they were one- two games for the Western Conference Finals, and I could say they were one favorable matchup from getting beat in the first round. Okay, now it's they're running it back again, and now they're a 10th seed. I, I, sometimes questions answer themselves, mm. is, is all I'm saying. And you know what? And it does hit me. It hits me today. What's that? Steph's 36. Man, happy birthday. 36 years old. Steph Curry. He is? I mean, think how lucky we are that he's even playing at the level he's playing at. And there you go. You said it all. 888-957-9570 is the number. Uh, You want to jump into the conversation. How do you view last night's game? Was it sobering? Or do you think we're probably not going to win that game without Steph and Draymond Green? Does it does does Draymond Green sitting out another game when Steph's hurt? Does that even register with some fans? Does that is that even acknowledged? Or it's just well, it's just the the, the luck of the draw. Here's the other thing I was thinking, and there's going to be exceptions to this, but as I was watching the game last night, it's the NBA has has is like passing. On a generation. What do you mean? Here's what I mean. I mean, if you really take a look at the players in Steph Curry's group, the game's the game's passed them. Wow. See, man, you. I I mean, I I, I don't want to say pass them. I know what you mean, man. They're not the youngsters. Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Clay Thompson. Yeah. They're a tenth seed. LeBron James. They're a nine seed. Kevin Durant and Bradley B. Well, Kevin Durant is 34, 35. He's a seventh seed. Kawhi, Westbrook, that whole Clippers team, they're in big trouble. They've lost eight of their last 15. They're fading. Jimmy Butler, that his team's in eighth. You can look at the Bulls with DeRozan. They like it's it's a younger players league. Who who are the best teams? You got Minnesota. You got Minnesota. They got Anthony Edwards. He looks incredible. You got man. Denver. Jokic isn't thirty yet. Murray. You got Boston with those two guys. Even Philly. Philly's struggling, but okay. you know, in Cleveland. Okay, see Donovan Mitchell. I get it. He hasn't played. He hasn't played recently, but that's the other thing. I mean, just at thirty-five, forget Steph because he's he's kind of the at thirty-five. You're guess what? You're gonna. You're going to play more worse games than you played at 27 or 28. It's, well, you, it's just yeah. t- Clay's not going to play 75 games and play 65 really well anymore. So what do we do? What do we do? 888-957-9570 is the number. Uh, happy birthday, Steph Curry. 36 years old. I guess he'll be heading to L.A. either later tonight or tomorrow to practice with the Warriors. And be then careful. They, then they have the Lakers. Then they have the Lakers Saturday, and it's a primetime game. It's a game that, that you lose this one, tenth is yours, right? You would think, right? You would think. Right. You would absolutely think. That means you're going on the road for one game. Two. Maybe, oh, you, it would have to be two. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, they'd have to win. Two. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, my point was if you yeah. lost, I'm being negative, yeah. but if you lost that first game, could night you night. imagine the season ending that way? I could, yes. There's a movie called oh. The Titanic, and to me that would be the basketball equivalent of 14-4 and four through 18, then beat Milwaukee, and then it ended in that way. And outside of Jonathan Kaminga and Pajemski's growth in TJD, what do I mean? Is that enough to? Well, that's not nothing. I don't not like. I'm, not, I, yeah. I don't like. I'm not. But then how do you enhance that. them moving forward? Because if they you just, got Curry, that's just time. What if you? It, mm. That's just time. Damn. It's just time. Do you have enough time? Damn. I mean, that's what Joe Lacob's going to have to figure out. 
If he likes these young players... He said, do you have enough time? If he likes these young players, probably doesn't have enough time to for them to reach what they need to reach in time for Steph Curry to still be at, wow. at a level that he's playing at that's so high that could lead the Warriors to, to a title. 